Hello everyone, this is Nook2, welcome to another type of video. This is probably my fourth time trying to do a video on this, so I just kind of wanted to probably simplify it, just go, hey, here's a website, here's a new model that we may be getting, and that's about it, because, uh, yeah, we don't know a lot about it yet, it's not even available yet, it's still being worked on, it wasn't even supposed to be released any information about it yet, so we shouldn't even have known about it, but we do. Um... So, yeah, um, don't know what to think about this, honestly, I'm kind of just questioning, it's like, should we get another one, even with all the things they have said it is going to benefit them with, of features, how the mod devs approach it, and so on, so, yeah. but, uh, if you want to know any information, I'd recommend at least just reading anything possible. So, for example, here there's an FAQ that goes into what it's going to do, um, what sort of things they're considering for it, will Fabric be compatible with it, as it's basically just a fork of Fabric, even though it eventually split off and do its own thing at some point, so it won't become compatible with Fabric in the future. Um, uh, let's see, what else have we got? The backwards compatibility answer there. Um, so yeah, pretty much as far as I can tell, I just got the impression of they're making a new one, they're changing the approach of how people, you know, can do things for it, instead of it just being like, someone keeps creating more and more new libraries and APIs, or features don't get into the actual uh, framework, it's kind of just like a, people who just add it however they want, you know, always reporting to one person going, hey, can you add this, hey, can you add this? as far as I can understand. Um, we don't have any install information yet because it's just not finished. Um, that'll be probably available in the future. Otherwise, we've got the blog post, which pretty much just tells you why it's even existing in the first place. There's the following here, which we can assume go by the toxicity or things just not happening because people just not doing anything, it's kind of just like a fabric gets updated to the next version, and then that's it, or certain other things break, and then they get fixed, like when I've seen some mods just go, ooh, fabric API isn't working right now, we need to then fix this major bug that I think was like a few weeks ago, so yeah, I've seen it on a few mods at least change a lot of pages, and I'm like, oh, okay, Fair enough. Um, I never came across the issue, but uh, I know that it existed and some people did have them. Uh, otherwise, we've got uh, technical concerns, uh, how they will approach plugins, how us on the player side will benefit from it, which I don't remember being that much of a big deal. Like, yes, you would see the occasional... I'm just going to have to go to it here real quick. So just go, say, library. Uh, I'll just go say K inventory or something. Oh, come on. Where is it? K inventory. Uh, like, for example, something like this just pops up and certain others are there. And most people are like, I want to add this and this and this because I assume you add libraries and API aspects into, you know, the main framework of it. But, yeah. Uh, I don't think many people came across them. At least I never did. They'd be like the occasional yes, like I just pointed out, where they appear on GitHub. So you barely even see them. Other than that, you would have, what, Fabric API, Language Kotlin, Language Scala, maybe Flytra API, and maybe, like, a few more? But most of them are already embedded into the mod files anyway, so you never even noticed them. Like, if you've ever gone to... I'm trying to think of a mod that adds it. Um, I'll just go simply here, because I know it already adds it anyways. So, which I know is also got a restructuring, which I don't get to check out. Um, it is... I'm just going to say the latest or something, they'll still probably show it. Oh, come on. Okay, you'd see like a bunch here of like it's required here, which you would see very few, and you'd see like optional or embedded, so you'd like to see like a ton probably under here, which were mostly all available anyways. So I never found like there was that much to worry about because players would only come across a few, and the rest would just be stuff like this where they just came up later and you'd see like a ton of them. Um, if you were like me, of course, we knew to look in the, you know, Fabric Discord and just see, and now there's, like, tons of ones that are just GitHub pages. So, yeah. 
Um, I guess is for that purpose, but other than that, I don't think it was really that bad. Um, other than that, we've got uh, bike code specific things, again a benefit for them. Um, you've got experimentation, so we may get a bunch of other cool mods out of this based on whatever things they experiment with and add to it. Um, other than that, I guess that's about it. Obviously there's a bunch to read through. You can read it obviously and paste in your, in your own time if you want to. Most of it's probably just kind of like, you know, stuff that we probably would find a bit boring to read. It obviously gets certain points across. Um, so yeah, it will probably just benefits mod devs anyways rather than us. But uh, if you are make, making mods, I guess there's a consideration for that. But at the same time, technically Quilt does not exist yet. So, yeah. Um, what this means for others, I mean, I've seen in that the, the um, technically the uh, legacy fabric side of things already has got the um, Discord server name changed to Quilt, so I don't know if that means they're going to go a different direction or not. I have no idea. If other projects go other places, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll still probably see like, you know, Fabric and Forge, I assume Fabric probably still may be supported, just others are going, it's like, well, we're going to make our own and allow for other benefits, whilst those that still want to stick with Fabric can, because obviously there's still a ton of people that still support Fabric, as you can see here, as I update things constantly and you see it on Curse Forge or Modrinth. So, yeah, but uh, for the most part, just be prepared that we do have a new mod loader that will be available at some time, maybe in the next few months. I can assume I have no information, I just can only go off what's on this website and then assume it shouldn't take too long and then guess based on other projects that have taken however long. So yeah, am I really happy about having a third mod loader? Not really, um, but I can see a reason for why it exists, at least. But uh, yeah. It kind of made sense with how some creators were, or those that um, were focusing on supporting Fabric in the beginning and that eventually left and everybody else has gone, well, we're either quitting modding or we're just going to make a new mod loader. So, yeah. So, that's my guess, at least. Again, fourth attempt I made this, I'm trying to make it more of kind of like a, this is what they have actually said, versus my assumptions, which could be anything. Um, so, yeah, if you want to read these, uh, I'll put links to them in the description if you want to watch this person's video, which is a lot quicker, and kind of just picks at certain bits and pieces, um, then, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.